South Africa has produced world-renowned political leaders and our sports stars also hold their own at global events. But how are we doing when it comes to academic excellence? And South African academic achievements do not always make headlines, but we're right up there with the best. And to celebrate our achievements tonight, we're speaking to our very own academic star, Professor Loiso Nonga. He's been elected as the Vice President of the International Mathematical Union. After spending so many decades in, in academia, Prof, what does this appointment mean to you? Well, it's a, it presents an opportunity uh, how one can use this position to kind of try and make a difference in the development of mathematics, both in South Africa, on the continent, and in developing countries in general. It's a course that you've already given your time to, especially with the establishment of some of the programs at Wits University, mathematical mm -hmm. programs at Wits University. And, you know, when you look at where we are as a country in terms of how our, our schools are doing when it comes to maths literacy, what are the contributions that you think we could be doing differently there? I think we should be focusing on uh, developing the next generation of, in this case, mathematicians and systematically look at what are the success factors and look at examples of maybe countries that have done better than we have. My own interest besides, I mean, you mentioned the programs that I've been involved with at, uh, at high school level, is also looking at people at the highest level who will teach the teachers that will be teaching at the lower levels and, and how we um, how we retain those people within the teaching profession in universities and how we prepare them to make a meaningful contribution. And, and certainly at this point in your life, you have the benefit of hindsight of having had a successful career in academia. But certainly um, it, it's not the case for everyone. And so when you reflect back, what would you say were some of your greatest difficulties or challenges in this field? Well, to start off with, which is something that I relate every time I have an opportunity to make a presentation, and that's something that I said in uh, motivating my candidature in Brazil, was that Bandu education, which was introduced by Verwood, it was explicit that black people or Africans should be denied the opportunity to do, to do mathematics. So people of my generation, for instance, in my case, I was only exposed to mathematics when I went to high school. And I believe that that had an impact on me realizing my full potential in mathematics. And I sometimes say that maybe that's one of the reasons I temporarily left academia and went into university administration. Mm -hmm. So one would like to ensure that people who have got talent in mathematics can actually realize their full potential. And of course, part of the national discourse has been um, the difficulty of, of managing the challenges that exist within academia, especially um, with the recent uh, passing of um, uh, the UCT professor Mayosi. And in terms of then dealing with those challenges for young academics who are watching somebody like you and thinking that is something I aspire to, how would you encourage them? What advice would you have for them tonight? I think we as the, should I say, older generation mm. should, as I said earlier on, try and look at what can we do differently to what we faced as, as young academics. I mean, there's this assumption that uh, doing a PhD, then you're prepared to be a successful academic. But in fact, being a mathematician or statistician or chemist or physicist at university level is a profession that we need to look at how do we best prepare people to, to be successful at that. One of the things I've realized is that exposure to your peers makes a big difference. Now, where we are located is a small university system in the bottom of the African continent. The exposure that our young people have is much less than if, for instance, you are in Europe where you can catch a train and from Germany you can be in France maybe within four hours. So exposure is one of how do we systematically expose our young people 
to international mathematical networks so that then they can also, we can raise their profile. All right. Well, it certainly looks like um, the future of mathematics is in good hands, in your hand, hands, Prof. And we certainly wish you all of the very best as um, you take on this role. I don't know if you have any a final comment to share with us tonight. No, not really. Just that, um, as I said, it's, it's an opportunity to look at how can we uh, strengthen mathematics in this country as well as on the African continent. All right, and we certainly look forward to the progress that you'll be making. We'll be keeping uh, tabs with you as you take on this new journey. Uh, mm -hmm. Professor, Professor Loiso Nonga, he is the new Vice President of the International Mathematical Union.